Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. In this video, we are going to talk about volumetric analysis and our focus will be on application of wine. Firstly, what is volumetric analysis? Volumetric analysis is the, is the general term to describe a method in quantitative chemical analysis which is to determine the concentration of a substance in a solution. This method also involves measuring the volume of a non-concentration which is called a titrin and it also to determine the concentration of an elite. Next is titration. Titration is a process when a non-concentration from a puree is added to a solution that contains an elite until the reaction between the inlet and region is complete or it has reached uh, the end point where we can see there are a color change in the conical flask for example when we use um, indicator of phenphthalene uh, the color change from the color from colorless to a light is titration used in the wine industry firstly to control the ph of wine because ph can affect the color taste and stability of wine Secondly, to make sure free sulfur dioxide levels are free within the ID range to protect wine from oxidation and bacterial growth. Thirdly, to measure total acidity because it can give impact to wine taste and stability of wine. Lastly, to measure the concentration of reducing sugar level in wine for managing the sweetness level and to monitor the fermentation. Next, why is titration important in winemaking? Firstly, it is important to ensure that the wine remains stable and it doesn't lose its quality over time. Secondly, to make sure each batch of wine has a consistent taste and quality. Thirdly, it helps maintaining the right amount of sulfur levels for food safety. Next is types of titration. There are four types of titration, which is acid based, precipitation, complexometric, and redox. But our focus will be on acid based titration. Okay, so what is acid based? Acid based titration is a method to determine the concentration of an acid or base solution by adding a measured volume of a non concentration to an unknown concentration until the neutralization occurs. For acid based titration in wine, we use sodium hydroxide, which is a strong base in our experiment. In analytical chemistry, volumetric analysis is a method used to find a substance concentration in a solution. Volumetric analysis can be used in wine analysis to find the alcohol percentage, acidity, and other components that the the wine contains. First, titration can be used in wine analysis to determ determine the acidity of the of the wine. For instance, the tartaric uh, acid concentration of wine is frequently used to describe its acidity. It is possible to determine the acidity of a wine by titrating it with a standardized solution of sodium hydroxide and measuring the endpoint using an indicator. Second, in wine, volumetric analysis may also require the qualification of particular components through a particular chemical reaction. The uh, by reacting phenolic compounds with a reagent and measuring the absorbance of the certain color complex. The following uh, method, for instance, can be used to quantify the total phenolic content in wine. The last one is the accurate measurements and description of the components found in wine are typically accomplished through the use of volumetric analysis, which is predicated of the principles of titration, indicators, and the specific chemical reactions. We are going to titrate strong base with weak acid. Tartaric acid is a weak acid and sodium hydroxide is a strong base. This will produce sodium tartrate and water. First, Fill up the burette with NaOH solution. Pipette 20 ml of the tartaric acid into 250 ml conical flask. Add 2 to 3 drops of phenolphthalein as indicator. Lastly, titrate the tartaric acid in the conical flask until the indicator color change. 
record the color change and your reading at the end point of the titration. So for the example of result, first of all, we need to calculate the average of titration, which is, uh, we get the answer, is 18.4 ml of nitrogen hydroxide. Number two, based on the equation, we need to calculate the we need to calculate the mole of nitrogen hydroxide, which is um, they are given a concentration which is zero point zero eight four m, and volume of nitrogen hydroxide which is eighteen point four mL. So we need to calculate uh, based on the equation, n equal to CV. So concentration is zero point zero four. And multiply by 0 0.0184 liter, and we get the uh, the last answer. We need to calculate the number of mole of tartaric acid, which is we use the equation of one per two, multiply by number of mole of nitrogen hydroxide. So we get the answer, which is 0 0.7.7, .7, multiply by 10 power of negative four mole. Next, we need to find the concentration of tartaric acid, which is we use equation N over V. So, we need to um, calculate and we get the last answer which is 0 0.039 mole per liter. After that, we need to convert mole per L to the G per L, which is we need to multiply the answer with molar mass, at molar mass of tartaric acid which is 150 gram per mole and the last answer we get is 5.85 gram per liter and last we need to find the percentage of weight per volume um, the equation mass of solute over volume of solvent Multiply by 100% and um, we need to change it 5.58 uh, per 1000 milliliter multiply by 100% and the last answer we get um, 0 0.5 In conclusion, acid-based titration is used in the wine industry to regulate the pH of the wine as well as the sulfur content and total acidity. Titration is a dependable technique for wine merchants looking into the key diagnostic parameters related to wine quality and content. It is valued for its ability to precisely indicate the amount of different identifiable constituents such as acid, ester, ethyl, alcohol, salts and various small molecule substances. Since this can have a direct impact on quality attributes, titration methods allow wine merchants to carefully control wine chemistry throughout the process, preserving the product's integrity.